G'day legends, I hope you're all amazing. On today's video, I wanna show you a little trick I've been playing around with to kind of take really pretty sounds and make them sound a bit crustier and grittier. It's one of those, you make it worse to make it better kind of situations. And I'm gonna be using the reverb block as an example in here. I've got the Rich Hall reverb connected in parallel. I'm using the Band Commander amp just for a clean sound, my go-to TV mix cab IR, a little bit of multi-band compression on here. It's just basically a clean sound. And the reverb connected in parallel, bypass mode is mute effects in, mixes at 100%. So this will give me a 50-50 blend between my clean sound and my dirty sound. On my PRS SC245 in the middle position, I've got this. The reverb tails on there are gorgeous. That's such a fantastic stock reverb type in there for that kind of thing. It also sounds pretty amazing if you like reverb on your lead guitar sound. So I go to the neck pickup, I've got my usual USA lead mid gain. Let's hear the same reverb. Maybe it's a little bit more reverb than I would use on a recording, but let's just hear it for fun. <laughs> We will revisit that in a second. One thing that I've been playing around with, with a bunch of different blocks, because as you know, I'm into vintage rack gear and a lot of the time, the old converters and input systems on those old rack units weren't particularly high bandwidth or high headroom. So I've kind of been trying to think how could I emulate like crummy old 12-bit converters on that really pretty reverb. And my first and only idea so far is basically this, placing a delay block after the reverb, so they're in parallel. Delay is gonna be at 100% mix. I'm gonna use digital stereo because I don't wanna lose my stereo image on that beautiful reverb. Gonna decrease the delay so I get to the minimum time, no feedback on here, and then I'm gonna to go to the more section in the delay and use the bit reduction feature. Let's set this to 12, and then I will add a little bit of drive in here as well. Let's set that to three. And I'll let you hear what this does to this really pretty reverb sound on here. Let's go back to that middle pickup combination. Can you kind of hear that crust at the end of the reverb tail as it decays? I kind of like that. It's not gonna be super obvious in a mix, but you know, it's doing the thing that I talk about so much where it's adding character to the tone. In fact, you could increase the drive even more and take the bit reduction up a little bit. You know, let's take it maybe to 15 and have a listen to what we get on there. Mm-hmm. 
While I was doing this, I thought of another way on the Axe FX3 anyway, and that's to use the dynamic distortion type in here, set the input mode to stereo and place it after the reverb. You've got several preset types in here. Dynamic mid boost or dynamic presence boost are pretty cool. Maybe let's go with dynamic presence boost and have a listen to what that does to the reverb tail. <laughs> That one's interesting where you get the crust up front, but not at the end of the reverb tail. So there's obviously one last thing left to do. It's to do dynamic distortion for crust up front and then the delay for crust down back. That actually works pretty well. I am so far down a rabbit hole with this that don't think that this is something that you need to do. This is just kind of fun for anyone who's interested in this kind of nerdy stuff. There are a bunch of options in the Axe FX that let you explore these kind of things. So if you hear a particular reverb plugin or something that's, you know, emulating the crust of old converters, we can kind of do something similar in here. You know, it would be really interesting to get modeling of old digital converters in here. I'm sure if Fractal Audio can do it for amplifier circuits that they can do it for old digital converters and you know it would be really interesting maybe to have a few of these legendary options in there or even in the reverb block have like a 12-bit option or something like that so that's something i should probably put in as a request on the forum anyway i'm going to play you all out with some heaven above with this kind of super nerded out reverb if you've got any questions or suggestions for this kind of thing put them in the comment section below this video is way longer than five minutes but that's part of the fun have a great day. Yeah.